Greetings, I'm Bubblefish, and this is Bubble Vehicles 1.0 Release Showcase. Current version has three new vehicles, a bike, a car and a helicopter. They may be spawned with the command slash function Bubby Summon and the name of the vehicle. To access any of them, you can use trigger be vehicle point action you'll get interactive menu. By now buttons are inactive, if you hover we'll see why. And this is because there are no vehicles around to interact and I own zero vehicles to track, we will take a closer look to every of these later. Most vehicles features are common, so I will show most of them on example of bike. First thing to mention is that datapack has limited render distance of 16 blocks. When you're sitting on unregistered vehicle, you're sitting as the, its owner, and as owner, you're getting access to all commands from the datapack action menu. To drive it, you can use basic controls. The bike has three gears that are changing with these particles and sound effects automatically. While accelerating, turning is slower, so if you need to turn faster, you must unhold W or S. If you open your inventory, you will see that you have a little trunk in it. You can store your items here in safety, because no one can access them from outside and won't be able if you lock the vehicle as well. Back to the menu, refuel action is available for everyone, click it and you can refuel with the item specified in tag file. By default it's coal and charcoal, instructions about how to change fuel can be found in Planet Minecraft page in the description below. While driving, you can see your fuel as entity health bar. Faster you're driving, faster you're losing your fuel level. Paint action is available only for the owner, just like every other except refuel. To paint bike, you need to have a piece of leather armor in your hand. You can paint the piece in crafting table with dice and then apply this color. Biking has over this amount of different colors, that's how unique you can make your own bike. Lock buttons let you lock or unlock your vehicle to prevent players from accessing it. Drag button lets you track all your vehicles from anywhere around. It might help if you forgot where you left your vehicle or if someone stole it. Give keys buttons does what it says, useful in case you want to get rid of your vehicle or give it to someone else. Scrap button lets you destroy your vehicle. After using this command and confirming operation, there is no way to recover it, only to spawn another one. Also items from the trunk will just drop with this chest when you scrap it. Let's now review the car. You can also paint car, but to do so you need to have a terracotta or a concrete block in your hand instead. Also, car has the biggest possible trunk. You can store the whole motion budget in it. Car drives the same, except it cannot turn while standing still. Car has four gears and is way faster. If you will brake on big speed, car will also make small particles and slow down very quick. Also car has a passenger seat, passenger cannot access your trunk or drive of course. Next one is helicopter. It has small trunk and also has this cool starting animation. To fly up you need to hold D, to fly down you need to hold A, to turn you need to hold both acceleration key, which is W or S, and A or D. This is more complicated, but still simpler than flying a helicopter in real life. 
unlike other vehicles, helicopter is always spending a little bit of gas. So if you're not moving but your blade is spinning, heli will run out of gas sometime. So it will spend an hour of standing still with full crank for this to happen. Helicopters also have passenger seat in the back with the same conditions. When heli is close to the ground, it also emits cloud particles underneath. That's all for now. Stay tuned to see new updates on Planet Minecraft. Now I have two different projects, the release and beta branch. I will publish release stable versions in the first one and experiment in the second one. So you can follow the one you like more. This data pack work on 1.16 and 1.17 both including all the stuff between them. If you find any glitch bug or data pack doesn't work on some version if we want it to do, you can just comment below or comment on the planet Minecraft. Here how it feels to use this data pack.